Countries will debate tomorrow how the EU should respond to the case of Jamal Khashoggi, the Washington Post journalist who walked into a Saudi Arabian consulate never to be seen again. But Angela Merkel isn't waiting for a debate or a vote. The German chancellor is speaking up. She's calling for a freeze on a German arms sales to Saudi Arabia, and she's encouraging other European leaders to follow. Her comments come as new CCTV footage shows Khashoggi alive just hours before he went missing. That's after an explosive admission from Saudi Arabia after initially saying Khashoggi left the consulate alive. The Saudi foreign minister told Fox News that he was killed during a botched interrogation and that it was, quote, a rogue operation and that the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had no knowledge of the plan. All right, let's hear what the German Chancellor had to say about the case this weekend. Also, erst einmal verurteilen wir diese Tat in aller Schärfe. Das haben wir gestern auch deutlich gemacht. Zweitens äh, gibt es dringenden weiteren Klärungsbedarf. Also es ist längst nicht das auf dem Tisch und äh, sind längst auch nicht die Verantwortlichen ähm, zur Rechenschaft gezogen worden. Drittens stimme ich all denen zu, die sagen, gerade was auch die sowieso schon limitierten, aber was Rüstungsexporte anbelangt, kann das nicht stattfinden äh, in dem Zustand, in dem wir im Augenblick sind. Und viertens werden wir auch international weiter über Reaktionen sprechen. So we've had a lot of reaction, condemnation, shock, some people saying let's wait for the investigation. But here's Angela Merkel calling uh, for an end to arms sales, well, to halt the arms sales. Do you think this is in fact going to punish or hurt Saudi Arabia at all? I'll put that to you, Hans. No, I think it's the right uh, reaction in this particular case. I myself have uh, met, for instance, Fidel Castro four times. And of course, he is also guilty of uh, many killings in his own country. But in this particular case, I think uh, it is very obvious that we have here a head of state or a head of government, I should say, acting, uh, being in charge of this killing. Uh, everything points towards it. So you can't really arm this fellow as long as he is in power. So I would suggest that other European governments follow, number one. Number two, they should make it clear that it depends on whether Mr. Salman is really guilty, and if he is, then they will not resume arms uh, delivery until he is gone. I mean, it's easy to say that, but is it even possible to know that? Of, well, if they, uh, if they can't prove it, then they should not send the, the arms. Very simple. All right. So do, do you think... on Saudi Arabia in this house four times because of the war in Yemen, which should have been reason enough. But they could enough. just go get it somewhere else, right? Yes, they could, but at least we would have the moral high ground. And I think that's very important. And we now see that this regime is lying and it's unreliable. And those who thought that in Mohammed bin Salman and his government, they would have a reliable partner can no longer really uh, keep that up. So I think that the lies have now become so serious that the credibility is entirely gone for those who still had it. Because you're talking about